We're on your side tonight with some advice for parents on how to talk to your kids about drinking. April is Alcohol Awareness Month here in North Carolina. The North Carolina Alcoholic Beverage Control Commission is using this time to really focus on underage drinking. It is doing it through its Talk It Out campaign. It encourages parents to start the conversation about drinking with their kids. And the numbers show us why this is really important. 10% of 12 year olds say they have tried alcohol. By age 15, that number jumps to 50%. More teens die from alcohol use than all other illicit drugs combined. Earlier today, I spoke to Nicole Augustine. She is working as a Talk It Out ambassador for the North Carolina ABC. And my first question was, why is drinking at a young age dangerous? reason why the age for drinking is 21 is because we know the longer someone goes without using a substance, the more likely they are to be healthy. Uh, alcohol really, it's a poison to the body and very much so to the young body where the brain is not fully developed, the body is not fully developed, and you have a chemical like alcohol flowing through a young person's body and it prevents the brain from growing as much as it could, reaching the highest potential that it could. It was leads to the campaign, the, the Talk It Out yeah. campaign. Mm -hmm. Kind of give us the genesis of that, the thought process behind uh, what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, we're really trying to work on reducing underage drinking. Uh, as a society, we've done really, really great, but we can do better. We still have alcohol as the number one substance that a young person is using. And so the birth of this campaign was really to take a, a stab at creating change in our state to really reduce underage drinking so we can reduce the burden of disease. And you offer uh, some really just kind of easy tips, I guess, on some level, but there we're talking about and how parents can start that conversation with their children, you know, and, and how to do it properly. So I wanted to go through those for our, our viewers sure, here and yeah, you kind of, you know, explain them a little bit more. Uh, number one tip that you say is face the facts. What do you mean? Yes. And what I mean is as adults, we have to know what are the risks associated with underage drinking? How does alcohol affect the young person's mind? Because when you tell a kid not to drink, they're going to say why. <laughs> you know, you want a response mm -hmm. to that. And you want a, a, a valid response. There's a lot of science, a lot of research as to why someone should wait and not consume alcohol being underage. Uh, your number two tip here is be ready. So be ready to have these conversations and to embed them into everything. You could be cooking and talk about alcohol. You could be watching a TV show and talk about alcohol. Uh, media has a lot of examples mm -hmm. of unhealthy alcohol use, and it's a perfect example to address those unhealthy examples and to have a constructive conversation. So just be ready to kind of interject it anywhere that you well, can. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, number three on your list, be open. Yes. So if you think about it, we all used to be young. We all used to be teenagers, and it was stressful to talk to a parent a mentor or an adult about something like underage drinking, right? And so we really say if you can be open, your kid and it may be someone else's kid will feel comfortable coming to talk to you, which is all we want to do is how do we start the conversation? Because once the conversation is started, so much more can happen then. So we say be open so that young people feel comfortable talking to you. Uh, and last and really important as well is set an example. Yes, yeah, so this is extremely important. You know, uh, kids are always watching the adults in their life. Even if they say they're not, they're always watching, they're always monitoring. And so it's extremely important that we set good examples of what responsible drinking looks like and, and talk about it very much so. That way when the, the young person gets to the age where they can drink, they have examples in their mind. They have memories of what it was like to see someone in a responsible way instead of being influenced by everyone else who's saying to do it in a very irresponsible way. Nicole Augustine, she is an ambassador. She's working with Talk It Out NC. Nicole, I appreciate you spending a yeah. few minutes with us today. Thank you so much for the time. I appreciate it. And you can learn more about underage drinking and how to have these tricky conversations by heading to the Talk It Out NC website. We have put a link on WBTV.com slash WebExtra.